All right, well, hello everybody. Welcome back to some more Stormworks. Uh, in today's video, let's see. I just finished up this guy here. We're gonna go sell some more jet fuel. Yeah, we'll take the research uh, vessel out. Um, at this point in time, this is the safest way for me to uh, sell the jet fuel. This ship can carry 100,000 liters in the spare tank down there. Of course, we're going we're gonna to add some more. We'll add some more stuff to it. Uh, probably about Yeah, so what I noticed, what I noticed was what I noticed. Several, several things. I'm hoping we have enough light too. It's kind of dark in here. That's the other thing I'll have to do is, is put some lights inside uh, with some switches and that kind of stuff. But yeah, so this ship seems to handle being maxed out a little easier on the winch than the mega ship that we that I built, the drill ship, which we're gonna take out. Um, this one still moves around. I still lose the magnets are, are inefficient obviously. Other than that, this this ship is not bad. What do we have here? Yeah, so you have your disasters, right, which happen every 15 minutes or whatever the default timer is in, in classic career. We're not too sure what that is. And then uh, we get the random the random disaster. So while I was... I, I didn't really time how long it takes to unload. It takes a long time to unload this, this tank. A long time. But it was just... Disaster after disaster after disaster, wave after wave after wave while we were sitting there. So just I save often and that's all you can do, right? The weather picked up, started blowing me away from the dock. So Yeah, so this ship here, well, we've got this one and then we have the tanker, but the tanker doesn't have the same, doesn't even come close to the capacity of this ship, right? And the tanker, we still have to modify again. Um, because I was testing out the oil, the oil distillers there. So what, what happened, uh, essentially was the ship was too tall. It's too tall for its width. So I might've mentioned that already. So why I had two options. Now I can either take it to part and like just leave it as a as a you know a nice because it's faster than, than these ships right and it, it carries less capacity but whatever it's just, it's just going to be its own ship that i can use for shunting fuel and whatever just a tanker I, yeah or i can make it wider and then make it into sort of a multi ship but i don't think we're going to do that i think we're just going to get rid of the distillers like i did, did on this one <clears throat> And we're just going to leave it as just a fuel, a fuel shunter. Yeah, this one just seems a little, a little bit too much weight of this guy. Probably those weights there I can finally remove. Yeah.
So this should be another this should be another six hundred thousand. Should bring us to one point six million. What do we got in there? Yeah, ninety nine thousand meters. Which will be nice. And then I'll I have to do five or six fuel runs in the truck to get fuel for our drill ship. And it has a capacity of 160,000 liters. I'm hoping that's going to be enough to get out to the drill site. Should be close. And again, it, it's a gamble, right? Because once you tap the well, we don't know how much oil is going to be in the well. I'm assuming there's going to be a decent amount. <clears throat> but, you know, we don't know. And I'm hoping that I'm going to earn enough uh, fuel that at least I can I can make it somewhere. You know, if I need to send another ship up to refuel, I can. But there's a base. There's a base uh, right here. Looks like there's a property here too. I don't know about these little properties. I won't buy any of them. But there's another base right here where we can, we, if we need to. Um, we'll see. That'll be part of the testing, right? I might have to shunt fuel out there. So what did I get? So far, off the 100,000 liters of oil that I bought, uh, we were able to get... Uh, let's see, we were able to get almost 50,000 liters. So, no, less than, less than that. Way less than that. It was about 30,000 liters, I think, of, of jet fuel. So. Which isn't bad, but I need 80,000 liters of diesel to go from here to here. Like, let's say to sell or, you know, whatever a full tank is going to be to get all the way back, all the way back to port. So. That's why, to me, I'm not, I'm not totally concerned because I know... When we planted the oil rig at the other deposit, I was able to get almost, uh, well, this, this is it here. I got three full loads. So, you know, almost 250,000 liters of jet fuel or more. So we shouldn't have an issue. I should be able to refine the jet fuel and I should be able to get enough a diesel out of it too to come back, right? But we can't store the oil and that's not the plan. The plan isn't to store the oil, it's just to go out there Mainly get jet fuel, right? Trying to trying to earn money. Um, because we have fifty thousand jet fuel back at the base, which is more than enough. More than enough for the helicopters and the airplanes. Uh, I'm not running any jet ships because I just uh, it just wasn't worth it. Um, yeah just something about the game and physics right like uh, the way ships work uh, I mean it may not be how they work in the game but you know you want to be your center of gravity you have two centers of gravity right if your center of gravity is above the, it's too high above the water then you're gonna list you're gonna list to the right and you're gonna list to the left I think that was the issue is that with the jet engine and the water jets what happens is, is you rise out of the water and I was rising out of the water so high it was causing the ship to become unstable on top of the water. So by adding the propeller, it allowed the ship to be lower in the water, but it was still still very unstable, right? And that could be part of the design of the hull. It could be a few things, but when I run it without the jet engine and just the diesel engines, it seems to be a lot more stable. So, you know, that, it is what it is, right? Just means that I have to figure something else out. You know, I have I haven't made like uh, I see a lot of people have these. They're like VTOLs, which to me makes sense um, because in this game, obviously, you want something that's a helicopter and an airplane. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. This, this, but that's essentially where we're going with this, right? 
think I've pretty well maxed out the ships. I'm able to build uh, right, the drill ship is a max. It's a maximum size uh, ship. I don't think I could, if I was to create something similar to that but different I, I don't know there's just as a solo player it's too much right even this research ship here is, is too much for me i'd be happier with just the tiny my first my first ship but yeah so anyway so we've done enough progress now <clears throat> we're okay on the water we can build ships they don't sink right they're not bottom feeders so now we can now we can finally transition into aircraft. So yeah, just enjoy the journey, and uh, I'll do some more gabbing when we arrive.
All right. Getting there, as you can see, a wave came by and we lost the boat. I forgot, forgot to tie it down. Turn on the magnet. That's all right. And there's a wicked... Well, it was... It was red. So there's, there should be some big waves coming our way. So that's the other thing, too, with, with Stormworks, is that these rogue waves, uh, when the weather changes, a lot of times, that's when you'll get those waves. Just part of it, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I just... I put the kettle on. I'm going to have some tea here. Or some coffee, actually. I, I like coffee. Probably switch to tea eventually. Uh, yeah. Took a, took a look in the sink and realized it's full of water and dishes and soap. Uh, so I must have intended to do the dishes, but then I sat down and started playing Stormworks. And the intention to do the dishes must have gone away. So it's probably, probably what we'll do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. Um, I'll save it once I arrive. And yeah, so I just thank you all for, for watching the, these videos. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be as... I'm just trying to explore, right? So that's what I enjoy about Classic Career. I mean, for me, Stormworks, yeah, it's got lots of problems. Yeah, I complain about it. You know, typical typical video gamer, right? Complain, complain, complain. Um, what do I enjoy about Stormworks? The building just doesn't compare like as far as if you like ships you know they're so cool like trucks ships is just another one of those uh, uh neat things and if you like ships as far as i know this is the best ship game out there i mean there's there's simulators and all that kind of stuff right but in this game like you get to build your own ship and then you get to run missions in it you get to sail around in it whatever you know what i mean you just get to you just get to play and that's what I enjoy. That's what I really enjoy about Stormworks. Um, yeah, and then, of course, and you have to learn, you know, there's basic principles. If you don't build your ship correctly, it'll sink. So you have to remember there's basic displacement mechanics here at play. Uh, and buoyancy, right? There's basic buoyancy mechanics at play. And then when we get compressed gases, there's going to be compressed gas mechanics also at play. So it'll be interesting to see how that you know, what I foresee is likely it'll only affect how ships sink and that, right? I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll affect too much more. Like they were saying, they're going to, you're going to be able to mix uh, custom containers and we'll be able to fill custom containers now with, with uh, air. which totally changes the game totally changes the game like right now it's difficult to get oil and it's difficult to get oil because you have to be sat on the surface right and if you sink down pumps only work uh you can only exhaust air and exhaust fluid up to 70 units below the surface of the ocean then the pumps break right they, they just don't have the, the pressure so I've actually thought of several really creative ways to get past that. I just haven't implemented them yet, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to test out the drill ship and hopefully it works. I think it will. We'll get oil. You know, that's going to be several days because we'll have to opt to leave it out there. Obviously, it'll fill it up. There's still, we'll see how that whole process works again. Um, but after that, I want to get into submarines and I want to start checking out below the surface of the ocean, maybe exploring some of these shipwrecks and other, uh, other you know, just points of interest, right? Look, we've got all these points of interest that, are, that we can explore below the surface, but we need a vehicle to be able to do that. So I have some ideas that are unique and are, and, and, and sh and are really neat um, and that will help, help hopefully make that happen. Like I say, it's just a matter of implementing them right and time 
Stormworks is a game of time. You can't rush it. Uh, if you rush it, you're just going to fail and get frustrated. So right, so what I was getting at, so with that, because you can't pump in and out uh, water and oxygen, what I haven't seen yet in all in a lot of the, what I haven't seen yet in the submarines are hoses. So you can hook up a, a, a winch and it'll go up to 140 meters. So you can attach to the winch a flotation device and you can have a pump, uh, or not a pump, but you can have, um, you know, a fluid uh, thing. I don't know what they call these. These open. Uh, let's see if I can find one. One of these. These exhaust ports that allow you to suck in water and suck in air. And then all you have to do is release the winch and allow it to float to the surface if you're not too far below the surface. And now you're able to get oxygen down to where you are. Boom. That's a total game changer. Right, because like I say, so far in order to get oil, you have to sit on top of the surface. And now you're subject to everything that goes with that. The weather, the waves. My plan was to get out to where the oil is and then sink down. Oh, but I, I might still be able to do that. Oh my, I'm getting really excited now. All right, so we have arrived. Now the one flaw in this vessel, it does not have reverse yet. That is a major, major flaw. A major flaw. It's a major flaw just because uh, if I drift too much in one direction. All right, well, I'll save it here and then let's get hooked up. And yesterday I was testing out, I think, I'm pretty sure I have a keep active block somewhere on this ship. I'm not too sure. But then what happened, it, it disappeared again. It disappeared on me again. Um, so I was just winching in, right? Winching in, and then all of a sudden it disappeared. So I don't know, I, I put a, a request, whatever you want to call it, on Geomata, there their website you know there's I see a lot of people are having similar issues where their ships are just disappearing so. oh see as soon as I arrive as soon as I arrive now we get I hear a Obviously, it gets laggy um, because we're here at we're at the shore facilities as well. So we're right there, go outside. Right, it's got the air base to render. All right, yeah. So now I'll just just sit here and see how far I can unload. seems like it seems like uh, we're being pushed against the dock which is nice see the only flaw here is it, we're good and safe but then if a wave comes in from uh, the outside direction 
It'll lift us up and it'll flip us onto. <clears throat> I've had that a few times. It'll flip us right onto the dock. And then so what I try and do is sometimes I get lucky. And the crane, the ship will get caught on the crane. And it'll just stay there and it won't, you know, it won't flip or nothing, right? So hopefully we can have that similar luck. What's going on? Oh, look at that. The front of the ship just randomly exploded. All right, let's slow it. I thought something happened. <coughs> now, let me see if that happened after I saved it. I don't quite have the equipment to save the vessel if it sinks yet. I haven't... Oh, no. Okay, good. I haven't invested the time. All right, all right. We're good. Let's try something. Let's see what's going to happen here. something you can do if the ship sinks you can repair the hull and you can pump out the water and you can raise the ship uh, you just need some specialist equipment which we we are going to make we are going to get into that process Let's see if it's going to crash maybe explode again Sun's about to come up. Uh, I don't know, about ten minutes or so, so that that's going to help too. But yeah, so I've made I've made enough stuff now in the game that I think. Oh, that's probably why it exploded. Look at that. See, it just kind of bumped like that. So ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, I think I've I think I've managed to make enough custom things in the game now that I'm pretty sure a salvage ship would be really nice to have. That'll be the next the next big one is a salvage vessel. Yeah, that really got me that really got me thinking. The uh, the oil. That was my plan all along. It was to create like a large submersible <clears throat> and I was hoping that the tanker was going to be that, but the tanker was just too small. I couldn't get enough like it has so much buoyancy in it as just a tanker that I couldn't fill it up when it was totally full of, of water. It still stayed on the surface. Whereas the drill ship that we have is massive. It's mega. And I'm sure I could fill it up with water and get it to sink. <clears throat> so then, right, then it's like, okay, so now you've sunk and now you're at the bottom of the ocean. Let's say you're 200 units below the surface of the ocean. How do you get back? Well, Using the plan that I, I, I had laid out, I, I think that's how you do it. So maybe that's, maybe that's what we'll do. We will, uh, yes, it's trying to. if I could sink. Hmm. But then, unfortunately, the whole ship would have to be enclosed, right? Because you can't leave the vessel. We don't have a suit that would allow us to go out. Yeah, unless they introduce a spaceman suit. Maybe we could use the spaceman suit deep, under, <laughs> deep underwater. I guess that's a thought for another day. Well, anyways, I'm going to have to end this video here. I apologize for that. Uh... Like I say, thanks for watching. We're going to empty this this one here, the jet fuel, and then we're going to go back, and I'm going to do some videos of me just running fuel in the truck. That's cool. And once we have enough uh, diesel, we are going to head out, and we are going to get some oil. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Enjoy yourselves, and have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one.